Hey everybody, and Tony here with a review of Piotr Bechowa's Liederabend with Helmut Deutsch on the piano with works composed by Robert Schumann, Mieczysław Karlovich, Antonin Vorschak, and Sergei Rachmaninov, which I saw at the Konzerthaus am Gendarmenmarkt. Piotr Bechowa is what would happen if one were to combine Nikolai Geda's impeccable capabilities of singing in different languages, thus embracing a huge and vast repertoire with Fritz Wunderliche's style and ease and penchant for singing Lida and also specializing in roles like Tamino, Belmonte, and Dorotavio, and a little bit of that lovely and quite steely Slavic charm. I first knew about Mr. Bachawa when I was a teenager when I heard him sing Dies Bildnis ist bezaubern schön from Mozart's Die Zauberflöte on YouTube, and from then on there, I was following his career much further. Even before that, I mostly knew him by name only. And from what I can tell, much like a lot of the lyric tenors who venture on into slightly meatier roles, Monsieur Bachawa started off with singing a lot of the Mozart and classical repertoire, specializing in roles like Tamino, Belmonte, and Don Ottavio, before embracing roles from the bel canto repertoire like Edgardo, Alfredo, and the Duke from Lucia de Lemermor, La Traviata, and Rioletto, respectively, French roles like Faust and Romeo from Gounod's Faust and Romeo et Juliette, and as of late, roles like Wagner's Lohengrin. He is a tenor I also respect so much because of how he was able to be very meticulous with everything he sings. And he really has a lot of style and ease. And to quote Rona Sutton, AKA Cantor and Opera, he has the most beautiful mouth. Everything that he does with his mouth, whether he pronounces certain vowels or enunciates certain words is something to really, really behold. The concert started off with Robert Schumann's Dichterliebe, and the major highlight from this particular song cycle was Ich Grolle Nicht. This was a song that has a very, very special place in my heart because once upon a time when I was a teenager of 16, I studied this song with one of my voice teachers and the melody just really, really captured me even though tonight's rendition was slightly faster than the one I used to practice ever since I was a teenager of 16. But Monsieur Bechawa's class and ease and style and how he managed to really be meticulous, but at the same time be very, very involved in the song was something to really behold. And I really loved how he was able to lunge at certain high notes with ease and style. And yes, at times they do sound throaty, probably to some people's ears, but they came out so gloriously. And there are times that he sings his high notes in a very fine pianissimo. He's able to sing all the pianissimis really, really well. And I really love it so much. They just sound like they came from heaven and they were definitely sounds I really enjoy so much. After the break, we then continue to witness some more song cycles from this Polish composer I didn't really know anything about until now, Mieczysław Karlovich, where Monsieur Bachawa was singing songs based on four Polish poets. And during one of these songs based on the four Polish poets, he was able to sing a high note and he sang it with such finesse and charm that I was completely blown away at his really marvelous technique. Then we go to Antonin Vorschach's Song Cycle, and I really love his rendition of Songs My Mother Taught Me, which was sung in its original Czech. He really knew how to enunciate each word so clearly, and he was able to sing with such pure abandon. The final entry for this concert was Sergei Rachmaninov's four songs based on the poets written by Alexander Pushkin, Fyodor Chuchev, 
Alexia Plechev and Ekaterina Beketova. And he really knew how to be very meticulous with those vowels and consonants. And he was able to sing all of these four songs really, really well. And after the concert was finished in its entirety, I pretty much begged for an encore. And he did, not with just one song, nor just two, but three. He sang Leon Cavallo's Matinata, a Polish folk song, and his final encore entry was the Zu Eignung, composed by Richard Strauss. So overall, Piotr Bechawa was really, really marvelous in his Lida Abend. He was not only so wonderful in everything that he did, whether it's his meticulousness, his beauty of tone, his charm, his ease and style, but he was just a very great musician all throughout. And Helmut Deutsch was a very fine pianist, accompanying Monsieur Bachawa wonderfully. And there was just a great symbiosis between these two marvelous musicians. So overall, I certainly had a blast with Piotr Bachawa's Lida Abend. This was a tenor I have been wanting to see live for quite some time, and I was not disappointed in the slightest. In fact, I was really amazed at his artistry and his passion. And for those of you who saw this concert, what did you think of it? Was there a particular highlight when all was said and done? Did you feel like Monsieur Bachawa was a singer that you would love to hear over and over again? Or did you feel like there were certain moments where he didn't really hold up? Comment below and let me know. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for my review of Benjamin Britten's Death in Venice at the Deutsche Oper Berlin. So until then, good night, everybody.